Hi, my name's Kate. I am a high school math teacher at the beginning of my 18th year of teaching. Today, I thought that I would take you guys along for a day in my life. Today is Friday, September 6th. Just a typical Friday, there's nothing special going on. I just thought that I would take you guys along for the ride. Um, I will do the best that I can at getting clips filmed today. If you've seen my other videos, you guys have known that I've moved to school, so it's a little bit different. I do share the space with a science teacher, so it's harder to get clips, especially when you know I don't have kids so I'm gonna do the best that I can um, so I teach two or um, let's see today I have two college algebra classes and one pre-calculus class so the plan for my college algebra they're gonna work on this warm-up first just working on uh, simplifying radicals rationalizing all of that stuff and then we are reviewing factoring so GCF just the normal you know factoring and then we're gonna look at the difference of two squares my plan initially was also gonna do the difference of cubes and the sum of cubes but that same lesson yesterday I didn't get to that with those kids so I'll probably just do the front side and then be done and then we'll work on the sum and difference of cubes during our classes next week and then their homework they're going to work on this factoring maze i was really excited when i put this on the board to explain to the kids a bunch of them were like yes we love mazes i was like woo so um i do have okay it won't have this but i do have this available on tpt it's a pack with uh, factoring this is just kind of a good mix review um there's also a factoring a difference of two squares and a factor by grouping all within that pack so i'll be sure to leave that in the link um, a link in the description below for you guys for that so I'm gonna work on getting a few things picked up real quick because it's about 730 which is when the other teacher comes in and you know this balance trying to respect our shared space together so I will um, yeah I'll chat with you guys when I can it's a Friday and that means donuts oh yeah So location change, sorry if it's really noisy in the background. Um, the classroom that I'm in, we're fortunate to have this really nice back room right here. So we just kind of have it on the understanding that you know, when the other teacher's teaching, we're more than welcome to come back here and work. And so I tend to work up in the office as much as possible. And then when I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm done, I'm ready to move on to another big test that doesn't involve the copy machine, I will head down here. So I am, I've got about 30 minutes left in prep, but I'm working on these fun little calculator checkout cards for my kids and I'm going to be writing their names and their block on here and since like in the past if you've seen my videos you know that I have had students swap their calculators for their phones or their phones for calculators or whichever way but this new school said that I'm not allowed to do that because that is a punishment okay so I've had to find another way to ensure that I get my calculators back so the kids are gonna keep these in their binder and then they're gonna put this in the calculator pocket take a calculator and then make sure they return it and if they don't I'll have their calculator cards so I know who doesn't return their calculator so I'm gonna work on that for the rest of my plan period today and of course it's getting ready to get oops, sorry holding my camera it's getting ready to get my worked on pull out my seating chart and uh, write the names and I realized I left it up in the math office not a big deal except without stopping and talking to anybody and just going to my desk and grabbing stuff it is a four minute walk from my room to the math office and back again upstairs it's a lot it's all right we'll get there all right it's lunchtime yep realize I haven't filmed anything um so I just have leftovers for lunch I'm gonna eat that get a little bit of work done um I realized switch arms here I realized that my last class I forgot to I guess I didn't have enough warm-ups for both classes so I just made those real quick when I went up to grab my food and I'm gonna just get those cut out just gonna have to use scissors because I don't have a paper cutter down here and hole punch those and then make sure that I'm ready for uh, my class so I've already had one college algebra class and I'm part way through my second one about a third of the way through so we have about 30 minutes of class and then lunch and then they come back for an hour so I'm gonna eat get that stuff done and I will try to remember to film 
the second half of my day. Number seven is two square root 11, two square root 11. Number 10 is eight A to the ninth, B to the 12th. 16 divided by two is eight. eight. So we're gonna have eight on the top. All right, our Y to the sixth, Y squared. Y to the eighth, good. And then just continuing on the top, I've got a Z to the four thirds, and then on the bottom, a Z to the four thirds. They cancel, good, those turn to one, cancel, no more Z, which is good. And then on the bottom, I already got rid of this too, right? We simplified that, and then we have X times X, which is X squared. X squared. And that's where we get the really small answer. If we can recognize these problems that are called, I call them dots problems, it stands for difference of two squares. So difference, there's a subtraction, two, there's only two terms, there's an x squared and there's a number that has no x, and then squares, they're both perfect squares. Do I know the square root of four? Do I know the square root of x squared? Square root of 25? Five. Five. I know the square root of all of those, so we can use that to make this problem so much easier than having to have really big numbers. Not xy, x plus y, and some of you may have said that. So we're gonna have x plus y over y. Okay. Are you guys okay with how we did that? Now we're gonna do almost the exact same thing. Okay, the, the fraction is different, but we're gonna do the same idea for the bottom, okay? So I want you guys to try the bottom one and add it so that we're down to one fraction. All right, go back to, we talked about this last class, whenever that was, what was it, Wednesday, right? So if we had the fraction one-fifth, we're going to write it different this time, divided by three-sevenths, right? Last time we wrote it with the little division symbol. But what would we do if we have a fraction divided by a fraction? Keep, change, flip, or the fancier mathematical way of saying that is multiply by the reciprocal, good. Whew, day's over. It has been an absolutely insane day. Um, I don't know. I, I know the start of the school year is always a little bit crazy. You know, you always feel like a chicken with your head cut off. Um, but I feel especially so this year. And I think you know, a huge part of that is just the change in the school, a change in everything. Um, I'm still trying to manage sharing a classroom, not having all of my stuff in here. Um, that bit me in the butt today, last period, when I was telling my kids, okay, I'm gonna pass back the quizzes so you guys can look at them. And they're up in the office. So I'll go get those. And it takes me a good four minutes to walk up to the office and back. And that's not just like a leisurely stroll, that's me booking it. Um, so I don't know, I gotta, I gotta figure it out. The other thing that's absolutely kicking my butt right now is the homework thing. Um, I know I did a whole video on how I dealt with homework and I really felt good about how I handled homework. But the issue is that my students had iPads before, so it was super easy for kids to scan their notes or their um, homework into the notes app, turn it into a PDF and turn it in. It was fantastic, it worked. My kids have Chromebooks now, so that's not as easy. So I may talk to a couple of the other math teachers to see what they do, because I've just been, let me just show you, gotta cover up the names. So I just printed off a roster, and I've just been going through and checking each student, and I started marking them on the seating charts and then erasing, and then realized that that's not gonna work for me, so I started doing it on a paper copy and recording those, but my classes are huge. I mean, I've got 32, 34 in almost all of my classes, and to try to make it around to all of them before we go over the homework, it's not working. Um, so I gotta figure out something else. So I don't know, maybe I'll just tell them, you know, use your phone to take pictures. So maybe I'll just tell them, you know, take your, use your phone, take pictures, and then turn it in the way that my kids would with iPads. I guess I'll have to see, are there any students that don't have phones? I know at my old school, I did have kids that didn't have cell phones, but I feel like that may help. The other issue is, you know, when kids are absent, I'm getting their absent work in a million different ways. I've got kids emailing me, I've got kids trying to show me in class, and that just, it's not working. So I would love to know, how do you guys deal with homework? Do you just collect it all? Cause I don't, I don't really wanna do that. I don't wanna have all of this paper, this homework that I have to collect and you know, grade really quick to get back because I want the students to grade it. So I always post the answers up in class so that the students can grade their own homework and check. And then we go over questions. Um, so I don't know, I may have to 
reevaluate this. So I would love to know, please let's start a discussion in the uh, description below in the comments. Please tell me how do you guys deal with the homework because I am desperate for something else because this is not working. I can tell after just a few days because I've already gotten kids that email me that said I got, I did the homework and you saw it and I have a zero in the grade book and I'm like, oh my gosh, <sighs> it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. So um, it's about 3.30. We have to be here until 3.50, so I'm gonna get a little bit of work done, and in fact, I'll probably stay a little longer um, and try to get ahead a little bit. Um, I did, if you ever saw my classroom setup videos, the classroom, do a quick little scan here. Absolutely not set up. In fact, all of my boxes are still, if we can zoom in, oh, I can't zoom in. So if we look over in the back there, all of my boxes are still somewhere back, back there. So I may work on trying to get some of that stuff put back away, try to organize my life a little bit. I also have a sub on Tuesday for a professional development that I have to do. Not a clue what I'm doing with those kids on Tuesday, so I may be here a while. So I'll, uh, I'll get a little filming in. I'll check back in with you guys before I leave. Just went up to go grab a paper that I needed to turn into the office before they close. To go downstairs to drop it off, to go back upstairs to the other classroom that I teach in one period so that I can drop things off. I feel like this is a lot of what I do. Just walk up and down the stairs, back and forth from the office to the main room, to the office, to the room that I share and walk. So I'm currently in the classroom that I'm in for just one period a day. I have the sign for pre-calculus where I'm labeling the area where my kids will turn and work or whatever. Um, and then I do have their classwork and their warm-up that they're going to do on Monday. So putting in the, in the room right now, I've got just one of the cupboards that I've been able to claim as my own to keep things in here so that hopefully I have everything. The hard thing is that when I'm making my copies on my plan period, the other teacher's in here teaching, so I can't just come in and turn it in. So I have to leave it in my room someplace and um, I'm gonna just work while I talk. And so, you know, I gotta leave it in my room or on my desk in the office, and then I have to remember where I put it what it is, when I'm gonna do it. So I really need to work on um, a different organization system. I absolutely loved those drawers that I used to use and I'm using those in the main room. Um, but you know, I can't access these rooms on my plan period so it makes it really hard to make sure I have everything and you know, I went today to grab the warm-ups for my one college algebra class and I didn't have any of them and that's that wouldn't have happened last year and that's because you know I could check my drawers on my plan period and make sure that they were full and I can't do that so I really need to um, figure out a good system so if you guys have suggestions please leave those in the comments below as well I am um, I'm obsessed with organizing and I'm struggling right now with that so I'm gonna get this labeled to get those papers put in and then uh, go back downstairs again one thing I wanted to share with you guys, if you've are um, you know you've seen my videos before, you've seen these daily slides. They have definitely gotten an upgrade. I created my own. Um, I like them for the most part. There's a little less space, but it works for now. So I have these up when the students come in, so that they know exactly what they need to do now. So I have the do now stuff, and I'm trying to get them to. Uh, trained to look at this and to do them and I'm telling them you guys need to do this in order and then I list the things that we're doing today so that I don't have any of the what are we doing today question. The upcoming I list when they have tests and quizzes and then I try to put a meme and this is the meme that I put up because my students have been um, needing to create passwords for their dual credit class and some of them are having so much difficulty getting their passwords and they have to keep resetting and so this was pretty fitting for today. I did tell the kids that the memes are gonna be pretty terrible so that they should probably send me some so that we can have some better quality memes. We'll see if I get any, but I do like this. It helps the kids know exactly what to do when they get into class and we can get started right on time. Okay, I'm done, I'm going home. 
It is 4.15. I did absolutely nothing as far as getting more of this room put together. I just need to get the teaching put together and then I can worry about the room later. I know that part of this is because the room isn't organized and I need to figure out all my systems, but I'll get there. Today's just not that day. Um, so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in following along more with my journey of teaching as I transition to this new high school and absolute pure chaos that I am living in right now, please subscribe. I do try to upload videos every Friday, but you can hit that notification bell to be notified the next time a video goes live. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.